Hello and welcome back to Center College Esports. I'm Retro P. Um, with me today is Tyler, and Center will be playing against uh, SNU today, or Southern New Hampshire University. I am excited for a good round of video games today. Um, it is a bit of an earlier game than last night, um, by about, Ready, I assume, back. five hours, so four hours. So hopefully after this game you guys can do whatever else you need to do today. Um, up next we have, or currently we are about to play a control point map. So teams will try to take over the objective point and then uh, keep it under Five, the control. We'll see four, how center plays. Three, um, we have a one, little bit of a different one, hero lineup than usual, but that should not affect us super, super heavily. It looks like Crow is already down, um, surprisingly fast. However, both teams are sort of fighting each other over this rift in the map. The enemy Winston trying to make a push directly into center, and uh, it appears to be working. They appear to be making a nice push into center's lines. Looks like Snoo is, or has captured the objective point, and so therefore center will have to um, try to capture that back from them if they want to get any percentages on it. Center has played um, a fair amount on Elios. We don't see it super, super often, just through the shuffling, so look at the draw. Um, but when we have seen Center play on it, um, they have played very well. Center's making a pretty good push over onto the point now. Um, they've got to keep that going to get some points on the board. Much better. Right now, it looks like both teams uh, have around the same amount of players out, or heroes, so it just comes down to skill and how well um, each team can use their heroes, as well as um, how they work as a team together. Looks like we have a little less than 30 seconds until um, Snoo has completely captured this objective point. Um, let's see if Center can send this into overtime and or capture the point before that happens. Now, Center's making a really good push uh, to the point there, but uh, uh, Snoo seems to be holding the line quite well. Uh, good stalwart defense on their part. We are in overtime right now. Um, looks like we have an equal amount of people on the point. Um, let's see if Center can capture this back. Center has captured the objective point from uh, Snoo, but now Center has to keep the point um, for the rest of the game if. Uh, Snoo gets it back, then they automatically win. So, from here on out, Center has to defend with their, like their lives depend on it. Um, see if they can do that. We've got a fair amount of heroes down on Center's side. Looks like Snoo is recapturing the objective point, but we have sent it, or there is more time, but Looks like they scored the objective. And that's a crippling round loss for Center College. Oh. Snoo has secured the first um, round on this map, Elios. Moving into the second round, um, Center needs to win if they have any chance of winning this map. We have around 20 seconds until both teams head out and 
then I think around 30 seconds until the objective point opens back up. And we've got Who's James switching over to Tracer uh, for this round, uh, looking for a little bit more speed. Five, this four, part of the map three, is um, two, pretty one, interesting to fight on just because there are so many pillars and obstacles, so it doesn't leave a lot of open spaces for teams to fight. It's a lot of small one-on-ones or just everybody in an amalgamation uh, fighting together on the objective point. The teams appear to be just kind of dancing around each other right now, not making a push into each other's lines. Looks like things are starting to get a little more tense, but as Tyler said, um, both teams are approaching from a distance. The center may be a little more hesitant this time since uh, Southern New Hampshire did really get the push on them at the beginning last time by King Crow, like, literally two seconds into the map, we get it. Southern New Hampshire does have the uh, objective point right now, so she needs to regroup and push forward. Some good moves um, from Who's James and Tracer. <laughs> Looks like uh, Snoo. Uh, they very much build off of each other, um, working very well together as a team. Uh, kind of just getting in between the cracks and Sinner's defenses, but. Center can definitely regroup and push forward, like they are now contesting that objective point. The game is never over until it's actually over. Trying to push the D.Va off the map. Very funny now. A very good try there. That D.Va seemed to grow wings and fly right back in. Uh, we now have the objective point. Um, let's see if we can hold it. Seems like today's match is going to be a hard-fought victory for either team. Ooh, Crow getting a nice little string of kills there. Good on him. still have the objective point and the percentage keeps rising. Um, the opposing team is every so often contesting us, but it does not seem to be affecting us too, too heavily. And right now they look like they might be kept for that point. Dang. Snoo has Recapture the point. Let's hope that Center can regroup and then um, get that point back. Testing the point again, uh, and we've reclaimed it right as overtime hit. <laughs> Center just needs to hold the line and stand firm. We've got to hold this for a little over 30 more seconds. We push them in overtime as well, um, which we'll see how Snoo responds. the opposing team is approaching. Um, however, we're around 15 seconds away from overtime. This will be a very, very close uh, round on this map.
Right now both teams are on 99%, so it's just whoever can push the first one, the first team off of the map, off of the objective point, and uh, make it so that it is no longer contested. And it looks like the opposing team, Snoo, secures the um, the round and then wins this map. But that was a hard fought uh, round from Center College right that there. Was. Center did not give up at all in that round or in that map. Uh, very, very close there at the end. So up next, we will have Center on King's Row doing a hybrid style map. Um, and we'll see how Center fares there. The hybrid style map, uh, we've seen Center succeed well, but then there's also been other times on like King's Row where the opposing team uses that statue right at the beginning uh, a little too well. So it all depends on um, the synergy that Center has, but then also how well um, Snoo can perform on this map. Bringing the game from the sunny shores of Greece to the rainy skies of London. Looks like there's around 15 seconds until center attacks first. Snoo is defending currently. And we'll see if center can secure the payload and then move from there. It looks like Snoo is setting up right on that statue that I mentioned earlier with one of them behind and the rest of them underneath. We'll see if Sinner can push past, because that seems like a very difficult um, thing to get around. Sinner making a strong push for the point, but uh, Snoo is holding firm. It looks like Snoo um, very heavily defended, so Sinner is now regrouping and pushing forward again. Right here, Sinner uh, sort of has to use the same strategy to move around this statue, so it's a lot harder to overcome. However, they did just get half of Snoo's team down, so Sinner might be able to push forward and capture this objective point, which it looks like they are about to do. I was going to say they were getting contested, but not anymore. Sorry, what a, Snoo. What a great push there from Sinner. It was a very good push, uh, especially after um, the opposing team did uh, fight them right there at the beginning, but... Sinner didn't let that shake them, and they continued on. I think if anything, that first push shows us is this is going to be another hard-fought map. Yes. Sinner um, has one point as it stands right now. Um, and now we'll just need to push that payload forward until they reach hopefully both of the objective points. What it seems like Sinner doesn't need to allow itself to do is get caught in that bottleneck in that little archway there. They need to push right on through. We have the D.Va out of the mech and a handful of other players down as well, um, sort of staggering this players. Oh, a nice um, little double kill there from Crow. Yeah. Bloody good play. Chunky Ghost as well. Looks like, um, looks like Sinner is moving forward. They're around halfway to the first objective marker. Uh, I assume Snoo is regrouping, but is quickly on their way back. Uh, who's James playing as a stable character? Uh, McCree. Cassidy. C Cassidy, sorry. Had a, had a name change a few months ago. You can tell which one of us actually knows a little bit about Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> um, looks like Sinner has uh, taken a little bit of a blow. However, they have over three minutes to get to that uh, objective point, which is fairly close to the payload. So if Sir needs to regroup for a little bit, uh, that should be A-OK. -okay. They also have four um, 
Folks, uh, ready and waiting. And sinners on their way. Moving together as a team and pushing forward. Uh, Snoo has pushed back to the payload, and once again, we're seeing a full clash of teams. We've got a. We had, I think, two ults go off, taking down one of the tanks from Snoo. And their Cassidy is real. This would be a big blow on their part. It's done a support. Their Diva is also down. Looks like Sinner um, is really getting into the swing, really getting into the swing of things on this hybrid style map. And they've gotten, they've secured another point, and a few more minutes. It was just told uh, that it is high noon, but I don't know if anybody had a lunch break. <laughs> Pillow is still moving forward. Um, the end of the hybrid style maps are always the hardest, and that's because there's a bunch of turns, they're within a closed environment, so um, Snoo is pushing back against Sinner as it stands right now. However, I don't think that will stop Sinner from pushing forward. Looks like we traded a bit, but um, when trading this late in the game, the defending team has the advantage. Both of our supports are down. Uh, JW will just res. Moving forward, though, uh, Sinner's going to have to wait and, yeah, until one of the supports is back. Sinner, once again, making a nice little push up to the payload and right into uh, Snoo's lines. Let's see how this turns out. There's good ice wall and holds on Crow's part. Uh, so Sinner just putting the works on Snoo just a little bit. Got rid of their grind. And the payload is moving forward yet again. Who's James managing to get a few kills there with his ultimate? Very close to that final resting point for the uh, payload, but Snoo is doing everything that they can to prevent that from happening. But looks like Sinner is just getting them down in waves since um, one of them will respawn, they'll then come out, Sinner will get them down. Watch once repeat. We're two meters away with one minute left, so fingers crossed that we can get this soon. Looks like Sinner is having to regroup. Um, and the payload is slowly moving backwards. In the last 30 seconds, Center's going to need to make a strong push to send the payload home. Exactly. You may be able to uh, send it in overtime and then keep moving there. The Diva is out of their suit. Uh, the Rhine is down. However, Sinner's also taking some blows there as well. Sinner's 
Sinner got two of the two points on this round. And almost to the end, so basically uh, Snoo has to get all the way to the end to secure a win, a win on this map. Initiating match. And we have a little bit of time before that happens. have around 40 seconds until the attackers are out. So that means center will set up um, on the map and we'll go from there. So center is moving forward to where the payload, or the, yeah, the payload has to be captured and we'll see what strategy they employ there to hold current. Center choosing not to congregate in the statue like Snoo did at the beginning of their uh, defense. Instead, choosing to take a more open approach to combat. Looks like it is somewhat working in their favor. Um, with the opposing team Ryan already down. Um, let's see if Center can keep this. Uh, Mojo up and prevent Snoop from getting to that, that payload. Nice ice wall on the first part. Snoop is currently contesting the point though, so Sinner will have to go to overdrive to prevent them from capturing it. Still contesting that point. However, Snoo is now capturing. A cheeky little spray there from Crow. Objective lost. The payload. The payload. Snoo has secured one point now, and uh, that means the payload is now actively moving forward. Um, I'm curious to see what strategy Snoo will employ when on the payload. We saw sort of the, I guess, tank boat style uh, yesterday, and then the ones that Sinner employed earlier in this map, but um, looks like Snoo is doing a little bit of both. But Sinner already got a fair amount of Snoo eliminated for a little bit. Forward. Um, see what strategy center employs. Uh, looks like we have an even amount of, or we have one more open they have currently as it stands ready. Um, and we'll see how things shake out.
Snoo has gotten that uh, first checkpoint, so now they are tied up with center, and Beta Snoo gets that yellow point to secure the win over center for um, this map. Time to raise my Payload is rapidly approaching with the uh, majority of the opposing team on the payload at least in the time. We are, they are less than four meters away from uh, beating center, so center just has to hold them here for a little over three minutes. Um, let's hold Kearns and get this done. That pillar is slowly moving backwards now, relieving a little bit of uh, anxiety on team's part. Taking a couple down on Snoo, with only Crow going down on our side. Taking a lot down on Snoo. Um, a minute has already gone by, so time flies when you are uh, trying to prevent the payload from getting moved forward. Uh, new spin on an old adage. <laughs> Payload is not moving forward, but it's, or it's moving backwards, so, uh... Neat. Yeah. Almost another minute has gone by. Both teams are out and about, all of their heroes, so... We just lost, uh, Gallup, though, and that payload is moving forward yet again. So... That ult... Um, Snoo didn't do anything though, for the most part, but looks like Snoo. Yeah. And Snoo takes it. Uh, but Southern New Hampshire University uh, got the upper hand on us on the map, so it is now 2 0. Uh, Snoo. But the Colonels did not go down without a fight. They really do not. Uh, that is the great thing about old currents. As it stands right now, this next map will decide whether um, will we play three maps or we play any more. If uh, Southern New Hampshire does win this map, uh, the game will be over and uh, Southern New Hampshire will secure the win for tonight. This escort style map is uh, fairly nice because uh, there is not many um, super high surfaces. It's a lot of just winding roads and then low um, buildings, unlike Hollywood with those tall buildings that we saw yesterday. And it looks like Sinner is attacking first. Snoo has set up already, um, right around that corner, and Sinner will be moving forward. It looks like um, it looks like I was wrong. Sinner's actually defending first. We just switched sides, so that is my bad. 
I was assuming that Snoo was still um, blue. So Sinner is defending first, and Snoo is pushing forward. Um, for those of you who were confused, just like me, Sinner is now blue, and Snoo is now red. Um, looks like Sinner has taken a little blow with their heroes. So hopefully, when they respawn, we can regroup. That payload from Snoo is still moving forward. Uh, not super, super rapidly, though. So that's a good thing. They are still... Um, they're fairly close to that first objective point, but kind of still pushing forward. But it's like Sinner is um, getting almost a full, fully team white, but um, a little staggered there. And then all of, or majority of Snoo is on the payload and moving forward. Well, not anymore. Watching the hamster roll out back into the battlefield. Here's James, back to Tracer. Uh, switching away from the Cowboys that he usually plays. Interesting to me how um, Snoo will get a fair amount of the um, center team down and then not really push that payload forward. I guess they're kind of taking their sweet time right now, which I don't know how I feel about. It. Uh, are they are they toying with us? Um, I, I don't know how they do things in New Hampshire. I have no idea. Um, if they are. They could center more time though to push back against them. has gotten two points um, and now they just need to secure that third so this final stretch we'll see if um, Sunner can push back harder than Snoo can push forward. Hampshire has gotten the full way on the first round. A tragic loss for center. Yes, so as it stands right now, center just needs to um, push forward, and um, center needs to push forward on this round, get all of the um, all of the points, and keep going.
So center has to keep moving forward on this, get all the way through if they need to want a chance at winning, and then we will go into that um, kind of overtime uh, map round where we each have a certain amount of time. We have the Attention amount of time that we completed our rounds in um, to claim the first objective point the fastest. So let's see if Center can push through Snoo and get all the way through. that Snoo has set up a turret uh, right near the point Next in an attempt to slow center down, but destroyed. it's been destroyed. <laughs> so disregard what I just said. That was a uh, decent strategy on Snoo's part, but... Uh, but with no defense, the static turret yeah. just failed. Yeah. It'll, get, it'll get eliminated pretty fast. The turrets help when other things are going on and they're adding to that damage that you take but on its own it's not super super effective. Well I'm pretty sure the turrets themselves also get scared when Torbjorns ran far away. Exactly. Separation anxiety and such. Right now it looks like both um, Teams are fairly even with the amount of damage they have on each other. Um, so there's about halfway to that first objective point with the payload. Uh, they've gotten one person down on Snoo, and let's keep this up. Who's James taking down another? Who's James? James is good. James is good. James can really get those kills with uh, that aim training that he's got. The fastest and most accurate gun in the West. <laughs> the payload has reached and Center has made the first checkpoint, uh, getting ready for the push through the town into the second checkpoint. Center currently has uh, four and a half minutes to Keep pushing forward and uh, keep that mojo going. Looks like Snoo is trying to take the higher ground to get a advantage on center, but I don't know if that will work with um, other center players also pushing the high ground. Uh, who's James just punching the air for some reason? Um, <laughs> must be real angry at the air quality or something. Center's almost halfway to that second objective point. Uh, looks like Snoo is a little more successful on attacking than they are defending, at least with the escort style. It was high noon, uh, but J Double was the only one who stopped for lunch break, I think. <laughs> You're almost at that second objective point. So close. And we've got it. So now we just have to move forward to that uh, final point, and then we'll send this into that overtime round. Payload is moving fairly uh, quickly, so with around half of our team on it, well more now, but we're getting into uh, Landmark's uh, territory, or not, Snoo's territory, so we are getting close.
as soon as James Thomas went down, but um, it looks like things are going back up and we're doing well. Very close to that point. Um, let's see if we can push forward and, as I normally say, get to that, that final resting place. We are very, very close. Uh, with a little more time on the clock than Snoo as of right now. Looks like Sinner is regrouping and then we'll move forward and hopefully get that payload home. Payload is still uh, slowly moving back, but the center is moving forward, so it should not last for long. Tiny Moon. Let's see if who's James put the work in. And uh, nobody got fed their lunch that time. Uh, was a little too far away and uh, we covered up a little bit by some shields. Very tense. Uh, however, it looks like they're going to do a stagger. Or Gal might have already been down, so it might have already been staggered. Sidner has to regroup now and then move forward. It'll lose a little bit of time on our part, but we have a minute and a half, so will be all good. Payload is still slowly moving backwards. Both teams are putting in their all center because they need to get all the way if they uh, want to have a chance of winning this map. And then Snoo, because if they win right here, they win the entire game for tonight. So both teams have a lot on the line. Ten seconds. Let's see if Sinner can push this into uh, overtime and move that pillar forward. We've got Gal down on Sinner, but um, two people down on Snoo. Move that payload forward, but Snoo is very strongly contesting us. However, um, both teams are kind of cycling through here as it stands right now. And that's a loss yes. for Center College. Snoo wins uh, this map, and that means that Snoo wins the entire uh, game for tonight. So, um, good job on the part of the Center College eSports team. Very difficult game, but we did not go down without a fight. Um, that's for certain. Bravo to the fight that Center College put up. Yes, bravo. Bravo, bravo Kearns. Um, 
that's it for tonight. We have um, another game tomorrow at 7. So this is Retro Peace signing off, uh, along with Tyler. And I hope you all have a great rest of your night. And hope you all tune in tomorrow as well. Have a great one. <laughs>